Hey there, Shay. So I'm about a block away from you and it's quiet here. I'm in front of Metro Corrections and this is where three people were booked last night after chaos erupted here in downtown Louisville. Take a look at some of the damage. This is the Hall of Justice. You can see those tall windows blocked up and boarded up after rocks were hitting them. Police sending a message tonight saying we will not tolerate this kind of destruction. We will not tolerate the violence and really pleading with everyone saying please don't let people destroy our city. Don't move. Don't move. They shot him. They shot him. They shot both of them. Don't move. It was at this moment that a peaceful protest for hours turned violent in downtown Louisville. They started jumping on the police truck. Uh, people were smashing windows, trying to flip the truck, and then it went, it went downhill from there. Jordan Basham took this video as she watched it unfold. It was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. Um. Police say seven people were hit after shots fired by members of the crowd. Two are still in the hospital. No officers fired their weapons. But they did respond with tear gas. It's only to enable officers to reach victims and provide medical aid. Our cameras captured a back and forth between police and protesters who started shooting off fireworks towards officers and chucking glass bottles over the crowd. One of them cutting a Metro Corrections officer's head open. They ended up getting 21 stitches, seven inside, 14 outside. Two LMPD officers were also taken to the hospital. We're very fortunate there were not additional victims. Three people were arrested during the protest last night. Stephanie Garvin, Adair Henderson, and David Wheatley. Officers say Garvin and Wheatley were busting out windows of corrections vehicles and faced criminal mischief charges. Henderson was arrested for disorderly conduct during the riot. It was supposed to be nonviolent. It wasn't supposed to end like that. Metro Corrections FOP spokesperson Tracy Dotson talked about the control officers are trained to keep when protesters come face to face with police. It's important for uh, police officers and public safety officials to, to not let those buttons get pushed and do that basic duty of preserving life and property uh, while, while still allowing peaceful protesters the opportunity to have a LMPD has canceled all days off for officers as a way to prepare for the protest that again does seem to be very peaceful behind me. We've also learned this afternoon that they have enlisted help from the Kentucky State Police. Reporting live in downtown Louisville, I'm Heather Fountaine, WHIS 11 News.